Shifting focus now, a special court in Rajasthan has acquitted top lashkar e toiba bomb maker Abdul Karim Tunda in the 1993 blast case in which two people were killed and many more were injured. The blast had taken place on four trains on the first anniversary of the 1992 Babri Masjid demolition. A terrorist uh, Abdul Karim, allies uh, Tunda, has been acquitted. Uh, Abdul Karim Tunda had uh, has been considered uh, guilty in the charge sheet. There was um, a no name, however, an Honorable uh, Justice Mahavi Prasad Gupta of Tata Court had pronounced the decision. The CBI uh, will have to go to the Supreme Court in this matter after taking legal advice from the central government as well. Uh, now, uh, Tunda, remember, was a bomb maker of terror outfit uh, LET and was accused of masterminding over 40 bombings in India supported by... Uh, Pakistani handlers is what we're learning. Uh, but at this point, uh, a court in Ajmer has acquitted him, saying that there was not enough evidence against him. Six Congress MLAs from Himachal Pradesh who cross-voted for the BJP in the Rajya Sabha elections have been disqualified from the Assembly, according to what the Speaker has said today. The BJP had clapped for and congratulated the six MLAs for their bravery yesterday when they had come to the Assembly after staying the previous night in BJP-ruled Haryana. Assembly Speaker Kuldeep Singh Patania today said that uh, they've been disqualified for defying the party whip to vote in favour of the government on the finance bill in the House yesterday. The Assembly passed the state budget after Speaker suspended 15 BJP MLAs. The cross-voting by the MLA has left the uh, government in a crisis with the opposition BJP claiming that the Congress government has lost the majority in the House. The Speaker of uh, Himachal Pradesh, uh, uh, Patani, in fact, uh, pronounced his order on the plea demanding the disqualification of the six rebel Congress MLAs. Now, TMC leader Sheikh Shah Jahan, the main accused in the Sandesh Khali case, has been arrested. The leader and his associates have been accused of sexual atrocities on women and land grabbing in Sandesh Khali. Now, uh, Sheikh Shah Jahan was arrested around midnight in the North uh, 24 Paragnas district by a special Bengal police team. He had been on the run for 55 days, remember, and after his arrest, he was taken to the Basirhat court. Shah Jahan has been sent to 10 day police custody. Remember, uh, Sandesh Khali in West Bengal, North 24 Paragnas has been witnessing widespread protests against uh, the TMC strongman Shah Jahan Sheikh, who has now been arrested. Pashimanga police, DIG Bhaskar Mukherjee, unka gadi me usko phalta lekar gaya. Phalta se Hindi ta korein. Phalta se unko mera tweet karne ka baad. करने का बाद वहां बोसी राटल में लाया इसलिए ए अरेस्ट नहीं है ए म्यूचुअल एडजस्टमेंट है जितना टाइम तक सेंट्रल एजेंसी इसको हिरासत में नहीं लेगा उतना टाइम तक वहां का पीड़ित जनता को न्याय नहीं मिलेगा देखिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी की लगातार आंदोलन की वजह से ये सरकार बाध्य हुई शेख शाहजान को गिरफ्तार करने के लिए पहले से तो ये सरकार डिनाइल मोड में था एक्सेप्ट ही नहीं कर रहा था कि ऐसा कुछ हुआ है तो हमने पहले से ही बोला था मैंने पहले से ही बोला था कि सरकार को बाध्य करेंगे घुटने पे ले आएंगे ये शेख शाहजान को गिरफ्तार करने के लिए ये बाध्य हो जाएगी आज हमारी आंदोलन की वजह से भारतीय जनता पार्टी के आंदोलन की वजह से और संदेश खाली की माता बहनों की आंदोलन की वजह से सरकार बाध्य हुई है ममता बनर्जी बाध्य हुई है शेख शाहजहान को गिरफ्तार करने के लिए शाहजहान हैज बीन अरेस्टेड वी वेलकम द स्टेप्स ऑफ स्टेट पुलिस यू सी आवर लीडर अभिषेक बनर्जी ऑलरेडी आर टोल्ड पॉइंटेड आउट रदर दैट ड्यू टू सम पार्ट्स ऑफ ऑर्डर फ्रॉम ऑनरेबल हाई कोर्ट स्टेट पुलिस हैज बीन रेस्ट्रेंड uh, from uh, taking any action and uh, after Obishek Banerjee pointed out the problem the Honorable High Court they removed the restrictions and police became free we had full trust and faith upon our police and administration we said that within a few days you can see the result and today Shah Jahan has been arrested Sheikh Shah Jahan one of the principal accused in a case uh, which happened in 5th January 2024. 
where ED officers were assaulted during the course of a raid they were conducting in Najat police area. We have arrested Sheikh Shah Jahan yesterday night from Minaka PS area. We have forwarded Sheikh Shah Jahan to the Bashidat court. He will be placed before the magistrate. We will ask for police remand and let's see how it goes. In many pockets of Bengal, we all realize that gangsters are ruling the roost, unchecked by law enforcing agencies. This is not just a contemporary phenomenon. This is a continuation of what has been there. We have to stem the rot. What we see is only tip of the iceberg. Last election, Panchayat elections, I had the opportunity to go to the field, interact with the people, interact with the victims and the prey. I can gather that this, what I can call, what the people call, the Gunda Raj, is very much there in many pockets of Bengal. Strong action has to be taken. This has to be nipped in the bud. That is the exercise which we should all focus on in the coming days. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now a short break.